In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a few chart analyses to get you prepared for the week ahead. I know it's a new month, I want to wish you a successful next six months. So we're going to be having a lot of activities in our Discord where I'm going to be sharing tons of charts this next six months, lots of great trading ideas and tips to help you get better trading. So if you don't want to miss these, you know, um, you know, trade opportunities and tips, you know, to help you become better at trading try to join us on discord i have the link attached in the description below if you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional as i highly recommend you should within the next six months check out our complete forex trading course on udemy i have the link link attached in the description below without further ado let's get started so this the gold chart on the four hours time frame as we discussed last week we had that very good breakdown or bearish breakouts as the case may be where we saw an opportunity to go short so I dropped this analysis in our Discord, I also dropped it on my Instagram page and I'm sure a lot of traders took advantage of this trade opportunity. So right now we seem to have been rejected from this area of value. So you can see I marked this out on the chart. Uh, we had a resistance level here turned into a support which is kind of like a flip zone and now we've bounced off this level again. So I think there's two possible uh, you know, trade opportunities here for next week. I'm going to show you how I'm going to trade gold this coming week. So if you're interested, just follow along. So on the chart here, what I see is a bullish divergence, okay? I see some sort of a bullish divergence with price making, you know, lower low and the RSI made a higher low. So one and two. So we have lower lows on the um, good price and we have higher lows on the RSI of the good price. So this means there's a possibility that we might be getting a bullish reversal and it happens to be at this area of value where, you know, we marked on the 4 hours time frame. So right now we had a very good bullish reversal on Friday, followed by a bullish breakout. So taking this trend line here, I'm um, taking this high as one, two, and you know it corresponds to a good breakout. So even if this this high is uh, you know maybe too high for you to get a good uh, risk to reward ratio, you could equally have taken these highs here, right? Because we are bouncing off a an area of value followed by a bullish divergence, then the logical trade entry will be at a break of this trend line. I talked about this in our course extensively, talked about how to trade bullish and bearish divergence or how to use it to avoid trading, you know, fake outs, right? So imagine you were going to go short at this price level because of this bearish breakout. The bullish divergence would have signaled a potential reversal that would have made you avoid those trades, right? So right now, what I'm watching out for is a consolidation around this price level. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the bullish case scenario, okay? So I'm going to expect a consolidation at this price level followed by a bullish breakout, right? So if you're not in on this trade yet, so this will be what I'll be watching out for to go long. So I, I'm going to go long at this price level. Then my target is going to be around this area of value where I'm going to take profit. So there's a good chance we go as high as coming into this area of value over here, right? But chances are slim because we are kind of like in a bearish, you know, short-term bearish trend because the overall trend is still bullish until we make significant lower lows, right? So this will be my first target. So over here, then I'm going to, so first target is going to be over here. Then I'm going to watch the market to see if we get a reversal in continuing the bearish trend or we get a bullish breakout aiming for these highs here. So I'm going to get rid of this from the chart. So this is how I'm going to trade gold, the first case scenario to trade gold right so this was a bullish case scenario so if we get a consolidation here another breakout then i'm going to go long again aiming for this highs but if we get to this price level i'm going to first of all i'm going to wait for a bearish reversal candlestick like a bearish and goffy candle a doji followed by a good candlestick in the direction of the trend which is the downtrend right then i'm going to think about going short so that's the reason why i will go short here then aiming for this lows right so imagine uh, what i just said First case scenario is waiting for a small consolidation here. Enter the breakout aiming for this area of value. Why I'm going to wait for a reversal at this price level aiming for this price level. So you could trade these bounces. It's totally normal, right? So the second case scenario for a short uh, trade opportunity would be waiting for something like this. So it's still going to be almost the same thing, but I'll be watching out for some sort of consolidation like this. Okay. So instead of a bullish breakout, then we might get a bearish breakout. So this would be a scenario to go short. And if we get something like this, aiming for these lows, it would have invalidated this bullish divergence we have at these price levels. Okay. So this is what I would watch out for to go short 
right? So the first one, watching out for a small consolidation with a bullish breakout aiming for these highs. Second one would be waiting for a consolidation with a bearish breakout to go short aiming for these lows. So this is how I'm going to trade gold. Other than this, I'm just going to watch out to see what the price does. But meanwhile, I'm already on this trade. So I'm already on a long trade on gold at these price levels, right? That was on Friday. I went long on this. So I'm going to aim for this price level. So what I just explained is for those who are not yet in the trade, right? So that's a briefing from go, uh, for gold. Moving on, we're going to talk about GBP USD. So GBP USD seems to be in a bullish trend. I know most people think because gold is bearish, then GBS have to be bearish, areas has to be bearish. Yes, I've been preaching about this for quite some time, which we call, you know, market currency pair correlations. Okay. But at this stage of the market, I think it's best to treat different currency pairs as an individual asset. Okay. So now it's not the time to tie everything to one particular asset, like saying if the DXY goes down, it means GBUS, the areas and those stuff will also equally go down, go up, you know, currency pair correlations. It works, but those are just short term price action right now so right now currency pair correlations i'm going to trick them nothing more than short term price correlations obviously gbusd is a bullish trend so i'm going to be trading in line with the bullish trend okay so this is a two hours chart you can see multiple price rejections one two three over here and we have one bounce here so i'm going to go down to the one hour time frame and zoom out a little in order for us to spot out trade opportunities for next week okay so obviously this is gold, uh, sorry, this is GBUSD. I know most traders want to do this, draw a trend line like this, then wait for a breakout, right? This is not bad at all, okay? So the way to trade something like this would be waiting for a proper consolidation around this price level, followed by a good bullish breakout. So if we get this, entry is going to be around these price levels. Stop loss is going to be below the consolidation that leads to the breakout. Then first take profit target is going to be around these highs. Okay, so this I'm going to trade GBB USD if we indeed get that consolidation along with a bullish breakout in line with the current trend. Okay, so that's it briefly for GBP USD. So alternatively, I'm going to wait for you know price to slowly creep back into this area of value. You can see. We had a very good bounce around this price level. So if we come into this area of value, it's going to coincide with the trend line on the higher time frame. Then I'm going to look for possible price action signifying a trend, uh, a trend continuation or a bullish reversal for me to go long aiming for these highs. Right. So this is two best case scenario in which I'm going to trade GBP USD. First, we'll be waiting for a consolidation at these price levels along with a bullish breakout. Second, we'll be waiting for price to reverse a little back into this area of value, coinciding with the trend line on the uh, higher time frame as I've shown you a lot, and wait for a bullish continuation for me to go long at these price levels. So that's it briefly for GBUSD bullish trend. We're going to look for bullish trade opportunities. So if anything changes, remember, this is just my opinion on the market. It doesn't mean I would be right 100%. I could be wrong. That's why it's good for you to carry out your own ana analysis according to your trading strategy compared with what I've done. And if it aligns with your trading plan, your trading strategy, your stop loss and risk management, then by all means, you can go into the trade. But nothing I say in this video should act as a financial advice. This is just for educational purpose only. So if you want to check out my opinion during the week to see if I change my opinion or to see the trades I'm taking, join our Discord as I've talked about earlier. And if you're interested in learning to trade like a professional, market structure, trend following, price action, check out the you know uh, our course on udemy i have the link attached in the description below as well so moving on we're going to talk about aero usd briefly so aero usd this is a two hours time frame if i zoom out a little so let's say i go to the four hours time frame um we are clearly in a bullish trend right so uh, last year we had a bearish trend now we seem to have uh, to be having a bullish trend so a bullish reversal right a new trend so we're going to be trading in line with this bullish trend but obviously it seems we've been consolidating around this price level right but either way we are still going to try as much as possible to look for bullish trade opportunities so this is the one hour time frame and we're going to check out what's going on down here in order for us to spot out good trade opportunities right so obviously we bounced off this area of value last week so some people would have maybe gone short here if they didn't mark out this area as an area of value right so liquidity was grabbed and we had a bounce so 
I would be watching out for a price reversal coming back into this level where I'm going to look for my opportunities to go long. Okay, this would be known as trading the bounce. So this is what I'll be watching out for to go long on every USD in my first best case scenario. Okay, so the second case scenario. So remember when we get here, I'm going to wait for a bullish and goffy candle, a doji, a you know hammer or something like that, right? Just a reversal candlestick that signifies we are going higher. But my stop loss is going to be below the pattern that leads to my trade entry, right? So the below the pattern that leads to my trade entry, and my entry is just going to be at the open of the next candle after that pattern. Then take profit is going to be around these highs while I hold the rest of my position if we indeed go higher or in case we did go higher, right? So the second case scenario will be waiting for price to slowly creep into this area of value, consolidate a little and then give us a bullish breakout. So these are the two best case scenario for me to go long on Aero USD, right? So this chart looks tricky because it looks messy. So if you don't know what to watch out for, then you may just end up jumping into any trade you see on the chart. So in order for us to trade in line with the trend, the first significant area of value is this price level here because we had a very a massive price rejection at this level. Another one here, a breakout retest followed by a bearish move. Then we had a massive breakthrough. Now we have two bounces of this level. So this is indeed a good area of value and a good price level to look for opportunities to go long, right? Around these price levels. That's how many to trade every USD. So if we indeed break through this level, so let's say our price gets into this level and we don't get those reversal candlestick pattern, then I'm simply gonna wait for price to come to this green trend line, right? Where I'm going to look for opportunities to go long. So if this place doesn't hold, I believe this trend line will hold. If this trend line doesn't hold, I believe this lower area value here will hold. So whichever level holds is what we are going to trade in line with the trend. So if you are going to be a risk taker trying to trade in the opposite direction of the trend, which is going short, I don't recommend this, okay? But if you are going to do that, then your best case scenario would be waiting for price to come into this level consolidate a little and then give us a bearish breakout so if we get a bearish breakout after a consolidation remember after a consolidation on this price level then that would be your signal to go short targeting this green trend line here so this is the only way i'm going to go short on aero usd other than this i'm not going to do that okay i don't recommend this okay trading in line with the trend is the best so i'm either going to wait for a bounce from this level or a bearish breakout from this level that's how i'm going to trade aero usd so moving on, um, by the way, before we move on, if you have questions, this is another reason why I'd recommend you join our Discord. It's a free community, lots of great traders that are going to help you out in your trading career if you choose to trade with us. So join our Discord. If you have questions, leave them there. I'll respond as swiftly as I can or our moderators or other professional traders will respond to you as soon as they can. So moving on, we're going to talk about crude oil real quick. So I discussed about this last week and we did get a bounce i wasn't expecting us to bounce hard from this support level because we've bounced from this level about five times now so one two three four so this is the fifth time so i think the next time we come into this level we are probably going to get a breakout but that's just simply what you do in this kind of ranging market you simply buy at support levels okay you buy at support levels you sell at resistance levels you just keep doing that until it breaks that's the best way to trade a ranging market you keep buying support level you keep selling resistance level and keep making money until it eventually breaks so by the time it breaks once so you know you've made so much money already from the range so even if it breaks once and you you know get a loss it's not gonna affect you that much because you've made tons of profit already so right now we seem to have broken through the terror value so this is kind of like an inverse head and shoulder but not a very clear one but the point is that we had series of candles, uh, candles closing above this area value so i'm going to watch out for this to go long so a consolidation followed by a bullish uh, breakout so this is what i'm going to watch out for to go long amy for this resistance level we i'm going to look for opportunities to take a shot because if you go to the higher time frame so i'm going to check at the six hours time frame we are still in a bearish trend right you can see price excuse me you can see price is making series of lower highs so one two three four just lower highs right from two years ago or so 
So lower highs. So if we get into this resistance level, I'm going to look for a, an opportunity to go short. But right now, since we're in a range, just bouncing off the you know support level and taking out this area of value, I think the best case scenario right now would be waiting for a consolidation, a bullish breakout to go long aiming for this resistance level. So this is how I'm going to trade uh, crude oil. Here. I wouldn't be going short from these price levels. And I understand, I believe you know why. So I can't go short here because we are currently trading above this area of value. So the best case scenario would be waiting for a consolidation, right? For those who are not in yet, and then a bullish breakout. So I'm already in on this trade, and my stop loss is already adjusted to break even because I entered quite early. Okay. So for those who are not in, wait for a consolidation and a bullish breakout before you go in on crude oil here. So that's it briefly for crude oil. I don't think there's anything much to say about this. Remember, if you have questions, ask your questions in our Discord. It's free of charge and I have the link in the description below. If you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional, check out our course on Udemy. It's going to help you a lot. Okay, just check out our reviews alone. You're going to understand what I'm talking about. So moving on, we're going to talk about Nasdaq. So Nasdaq, very solid bullish trend. And if you check the six hours time frame, for example, we got rejected from a significant area of value. So this price level here, one, two, two rejections, and the third rejection here where we had this massive reversal. But right now, we seem to be approaching this area of value again. Last week, I thought this would be a significant, you know, change in trend with price coming all the way down to this price level. But I think I'm going to be wrong, but you never know. So we we'll just wait to see what happens. So going to the 12 hours time frame, I'm going to show you what I'll be watching out for to take advantage of what we can see on Nasdaq. Okay, so last week I took a buy trade, right? So this is similar to what we have on crude oil here, with price trading above, uh, breaking through this area of value, send price all the way to this high, uh, you know, prices. So I'm going to go to the one hour time frame so it's clearly visible and it's easier to explain. Okay, so after we took out this resistance level, I took a buy trade around this price level. Took out my profit around this price level as well. So right now I'm gonna be waiting for a consolidation. Remember, wait for consolidations because they kind of like tell us the direction of the market, right? So I'm gonna wait for this consolidation, followed by a bullish breakout in line with the trend. Current trend is bullish, logical to wait for a consolidation, a bullish breakout for us to go long in line with the trend. So this is what I'm be watching out for. Alternatively, this may happen in different shapes and forms right so we could get a small pop into the area of value so we may get a small pop into the area of value where we then get our consolidation before we get our bullish breakout so whichever shape whichever forms this happens i'm going to keep my eye out on this and i'm going to make sure i take advantage of this trade opportunity right so we may also get a price reversal retesting this area of value maybe coming you know down here a bit to wipe out people's excel right before we reverse so mind you price does not act, uh, act uh, have to excuse me price does not have to respect levels to the letter right so people just expect a retest to touch this area of value then reverse it does not happen like that in reality most times you get sweeps off of these lows why because most traders in the market, market makers, they know that traders will set their stop loss at these price levels after taking a bad trade year. So it's logical to expect some pullback into these price levels and then price goes in normal direction. So what I do is there's no way to tell for sure if price will get into these levels. That's why you trade with low risk. So if price is coming into this area of value, I am going to wait for a significant proof a confirmation that we're indeed reversing before i go long right so for example let's say we come into this area they will get a bullish engulfing candle followed by a bullish candle so closing above the bullish engulfing candle then i go short i go long excuse me or i could even go long immediately after the bullish engulfing candle go long and my stop loss is going to be just at the bottom of the bullish engulfing candle because if price gets to that level then it means the bullish and coffee candle for the basis of my trade would have been invalidated, right? So you don't just jump into a trade because we tested that level. You wait for a confirmation. Sometimes confirmation may be wrong, but you reduce your chances of falling prey to these, you know, um, fake outs, right? 
you reduce your chances when you wait for a confirmation like that most times even if i'm going to be aggressive with the market not waiting for confirmation i go into low risk right so i jump to a trade here and i set my stop loss as low as this price level because this is the next significant area of value where i expect price to bounce off even if price does not respect this area of value okay this is a trade so most times you end up seeing price coming into these levels like this wiping out stop losses and then reversing it's still a valid trade so the fact that it didn't bounce off of this area of value immediately doesn't mean it is not a valid trade right it's still a valid trade so i'm going to teach more about how to save stop loss as the time goes on but for now i really don't have that time but i'm going to try as much as possible to make a video on youtube free of charge of course to teach you how to set proper stop loss because i know most traders fail when you know they set their stop loss and you see price coming to their stop loss and then going to their uh the direction of the analysis it doesn't mean you're a bad trader just how the market works sometimes right so that's it briefly for nasdaq i'm going to repeat once more i would only be going long on nasdaq right and the scenario in which i'll be going long would be this so give me a minute i'm going to wait for price to consolidate a little around this price level Give us a bullish breakout that's one secondly price might come into this level consolidate at the area of value bullish breakout that's two alternatively wait for price to come into this area of value consolidate bullish uh bullish reversal if we get a reversal candlestick so this is how i'm going to trade nasdaq lastly i'm going to review dxy this was requested by someone in the community so what i will tell you is this okay so for the next few months do not really emphasize or base your trade on the movement of the dxy because this is going to confuse you a lot right right now dxy seems to be in a descending triangle and we may just keep ranging within this triangle going up going down going up going down going up like this till we eventually get a breakout either to the upside or to the downside so my advice to those traders paying attention to dxy to base their trade on is this trade just take your trade, whatever currency pay you are trading, whatever asset you are trading, commodities, indices, stocks, trade them with the trend present in those assets. Do not rely on the DXY to take trades. If not, you just get yourself confused, complicate so many things and end up losing so much money because right now, DXY is stuck within the range of this you know, uh, descending triangle. So mind you, DXY is in a bullish trend, of course, right? But the thing is, the dollar would not be bullish forever. So there's a good chance this bullish trend may be coming to an end by the time we finish consolidating within this descending triangle. So we might get a bearish breakout, we might get a bullish breakout, no one knows for sure. And no one knows how soon that may happen. So we may not necessarily need to get to the end of the triangle. It could happen in between. Or not until we get a breakout to you know know the proper direction of the DXY. I suggest to you focus on the asset you are trading follow their trends and i think you would be just fine if you learn to you know get good trade entries so that's it for this week's analysis once again if you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional check out our course on udemy with a link in the description below we're going to be starting a promo okay this week we're going to start a promo use the link in the description below for that five days promo because we're going to be offering the course for the lowest price possible it's going to be so cheap that it feels like a giveaway okay so take advantage of this promo and you know learn learn to trade we have a lot to teach you and i promise you're not going to regret, regret it if you're interested in following up the market with me with the community join our free um discord community i also have the link in the description below so that's it from me guys see you next week